So we are back in our usual setup and today we are continuing our loop pedal basics series. Now in the last episode, we had a look at how to do drum beats on our acoustic guitar. If you haven't already, check out the lesson over here. But today I'm gonna teach you how to loop vocals on a loop station. Hey, what's up? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Welcome back to another video. If you're new around here, I'm Ben Rowlands and this channel's all about live looping. Upload three videos just like this one every single week. So if that's something you're interested in, consider subscribing. Now, welcome to episode four of Loop Pedal Basics. We're gonna take a look at how you can record vocals with your looper pedal today. Now, I'm gonna show you the dead basic way to set it up, similar to how Ed Sheeran runs his. He has a two microphone setup but if you want to learn how to do it with one microphone like how I run it on my main rig let me know in the comment section down below because I've got a super simple solution for you guys and I think you're gonna love it so let's just jump straight to what you're gonna need so we're gonna be running a two microphone setup so you're gonna need whoa that was close you're gonna need two microphones and two XLR cables now these two microphones are slightly different as you can tell this one is much more narrower than this one now this one here is going to be our primary singing microphone so it's not going to go into our loop pedal at all it's totally going to bypass the loop pedal and just go straight to our mixer desk to the front of house so this will be for singing our verses and our choruses that we don't want to loop whereas this microphone here is gonna go into our looper pedal. Now this is what I would call the perfect live looping microphone. Now if we compare the two microphones next to each other, as you can see, the diaphragm and the head on this one is has a much larger circumference than this one here. It's much more narrow. Now, because this one's so narrow, it reduces the amount of outside noise that actually goes into the microphone. So it really reduces the amount of feedback and unwanted noise coming into the loops when you're recording with this microphone. But what this also has that this one doesn't is it has a little switch here, so you can switch it on and off. So then again, when you're not using the microphone, there's no unwanted noise being recorded into our looper pedal. So I'll provide some links down below to these microphones or similar microphones, because I don't know whether these are still for sale because I bought these years ago, but check them out if you're interested. Right, so let's start with our primary vocal microphone. So we're gonna plug our XLR into the back of the microphone, and then we're gonna run the other end to the mixing desk I have down at my feet, and we'll plug it in to channel one. We're then gonna get our second XLR cable for our loop pedal microphone. So we're gonna plug this end in to the microphone, and then the microphone is gonna go into our looper pedal. So we're gonna plug this into the XLR input on the Boss RC300. So now that we've got that set up, we've got our main microphone going into our mixer. We've got a little bit of reverb on there, very subtle and very short but it just makes it a little bit easier for us to sing, less strenuous on the vocal cords. And this microphone is going into our loop station. Now what I'd suggest on your loop station channel is to just add a touch of reverb to that as well. It makes all of your instruments and guitars sound less dry, give them a little bit more feel, but it also, again, it just helps with your vocals to make them sound a little bit thicker and a little bit easier to sing. So when it comes to setting up the microphones, I prefer this microphone to be slightly louder than the loop pedal microphone because if they are identical, when you layer up the loops with this microphone, they progressively get louder and louder and eventually drown out this microphone and they become quite unbalanced. So the way we're gonna set it up is, we're gonna find a perfect balance between microphone one and microphone two. And then our second microphone going into our loop pedal, we're just gonna turn the gain down ever so slightly, just so we have that little bit of headroom for when we layer up the vocals, just so they don't overpower our main vocal microphone. So when it comes to setting the volume of the microphone, I like to put it around the 11 o'clock area. Now your 
microphone may differ. It might need more gain or less gain, depending on how sensitive it is. But please do be careful of feedback. I don't want anybody damaging their hearing because they cranked it too far and it all squealed a little bit too loud. So please just be cautious as you turn this up and down. But as you can see, we have it at 11 o'clock. If we then compare that to channel one, where I have my main microphone plugged into, I have this around the 11 o'clock, 11.30, point on the mixer, but I have this additional gain knob here that allows me to set up how sensitive the actual microphone is, but the RC300 doesn't really have this option. It just has volume gain sort of merged into one. So this just gives me that little bit of extra headroom so it's slightly louder than the RC300. So now that we've got our levels set up, we're gonna finally record our vocal loop. Now I'm gonna start the loops off from our previous lessons. So we've got our chords and drum beats that I taught you in the last episodes. So we're just gonna jump straight and do some oohs and ahs into track three. No, whoa, 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 whoa. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, whoa, whoa. So we've got that looping back. And there you go, that is how you set up a microphone so you can loop vocals. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you thoroughly enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider leaving me a like and a subscribe. This channel's all about live loop and upload live loop tutorials, live loop performances every Tuesday, Thursday, and now Saturdays. I've been Ben Rollins, you can find me online at benrollinsmusic.com. If you wanna learn more about live looping, check out this video here, and I'll see you in the next one.